Hi everyone! So final video review for this week is for November Book Club Woodley Reviewer um, Read, which was Pining and Loving by Emma Sterner Radley. Uh, for any of you that didn't see the introduction video, it is still available on YouTube or on my blog or on my Facebook page, Twitter, if you can find it on Twitter. Um, but for any of you that didn't see the introduction video, here's a copy of the book and what it looks like. Um, and if you want to check out my Goodreads review, I have just posted that. So if you are on YouTube, there is a link in the description below. And if you're on Facebook or on my blog, then there is a link within the post. Um, and this is the video review. So, Pining and Loving by Emma Stern and Radley. Oh my god, I was so excited to read this. And it is because Emma did such a fantastic job of promoting what she had been writing about and what it would all mean and why she had written it. And I was completely sold um, from the very first moment that she even mentioned she was writing a book um, based on this subject. I was excited to see how Emma was going to portray this for us. So this was a really emotional, touching and such a relatable story, such relatable characters as well. Um, so it's about Aya, who is um, a tough ex-boxer with a sensitive side. I'm going to say that because she really does have a sensitive side, bless her, she's such a sweetheart. Um, and then Barista Gwen, who is really suffering from anxiety and depression. Um, and they strike up this unlikely friendship during a road trip to Chester, which kind of comes about by accident. Um, and they learn they have more in common than they thought. Um, even the same crush. And I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say this now. Like Emma totally nailed the whole having a crush on someone who has no idea you have it, but it's really real in your head. Wow, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. And someone who has this issue. But although mine does know, but that's not the point. Um, yeah, really, really nailed that whole pining after someone thing. I totally got it, and I absolutely could relate to everything that Gwen and I were experiencing whilst dealing with this little crush um, on Mocha, who is great. I love Mocha. She's a brilliant character. I'm so glad she was in this. Um, so when things in Chester get a little bit tough, um, Gwen runs, Aya stays, and lessons are learnt for both. Um, I think that's a really important um, sort of feature of this book. There's a lot of lesson learning for both sides, both characters, both parties. Um, they realise they have quite a special bond um, and they have a great friendship. So when things don't kind of work out for Aya, she decides that maybe she was a little bit hasty and she should really work on things with Gwen. Um, and she she decides to, to go and explore that more based on friendship. So she becomes a really great friend for Gwen, a great support. Um, and while they still have a lot to learn about each other, um, they seem to be missing the one thing that everyone else can see. And that's the fact that they're so attractive to each other. And they're perfect. They're just perfect together. Um, so, like I say, what I loved about this was just how realistic and relatable it was. Um, it did surprise me. So, like I say, Emma said she was going to write this book and you, you hear the word depression and anxiety and you, you automatically think that you're going to get this really doomy, gloomy book. Um, but Emma took a very sensitive subject and she brought us a heartfelt, insightful, meaningful story um, with so much heart and soul that you couldn't help but feel everything that Gwen and Aya were going through because Aya also, she has those anxieties. She's not quite as bad as Gwen, but she has those anxieties. And... I also love that even though it was a dark subject, complicated subject, uh, the way it was portrayed was in a way that anyone can relate to it. So for me, Gwen and I, I they really had moments where I, I had to put the book down and just because I had such like, I could see myself in what had just happened. I could, I could really, really feel it. And it's because I've either been there or I've been very close to that. And so for me, as a reader, I really was having a relatable experience. But Emma's also written it in a way that if you have never experienced anything like the darkness that comes with feeling depressed or anxiety or any of that, like, heart rush or panicking or paranoia or any of the things that come with it, trust me, had them all been there, done that, <laughs> got a t-shirt, a bit like Gwen, um, she has given you a great insight into what it feels like and you probably will really feel it, like 
really really feel it if you have got yourself all invested in this story you are gonna feel it um you can't help but not this just written so well and um, emma's done a brilliant job and no matter what level you find yourself at with your depression and anxiety whether you haven't experienced it at all you will you will get an idea of what it feels like from reading this um but if you if you do whatever level you're at there is a level in here of representation for you and i think that's great in a story we need that representation it's mental health and depression and anxiety is such a big part of everybody's life nowadays that you it needs representing it's like a lot of things it's a taboo subject nobody wants to talk about it and i don't know why because it's such an important subject it affects us all it'll affect you at some point if you haven't had a mental health sort of episode or or condition yet i guarantee you, you will probably have one at some point in your life it might only be for a short period it could be for a long period but you will probably have one and it's nice that emma's represented it so to give such a sensitive subject portrayal the way emma has done um she's really done it justice she's done a brilliant job of just making you feel that there's a really clear message in this story you're not alone and it's not all doom and gloom that this book is brilliantly funny it's it's got happiness and lightness it's got moments that make you laugh and cry you'll be laughing especially like for me like if you've suffered you will be laughing at the fact that you can see yourself and you if you've been past that as well you'll be laughing a little bit thinking oh my god i've survived that and it's relief it's not laughter because ha ha funny it's relief that you're here you're happy and gwen's here gwen's happy and that's that's the main thing of this story it's not all doom and gloom you can still have depression and anxiety and still live your life and still have a brilliant time um and your depression's still there but it doesn't mean you can't enjoy some things and i loved that i really loved that message it was really clear it was really strong this just really was the most perfect book i can't complain a single thing absolutely brilliant genius from emma absolute genius and i know she was the perfect person to write this she was um i and gwen's characters so different so much in common and that's what we all don't realize we all have so much in common and if we just sit and talk to each other we'll suddenly realize that yeah we all we all suffer in some way on some level we all suffer and we can all draw from each other's experiences and, and be supportive of one another through whatever it is we need the support with um obviously for Aya and gwen it's their shared crush that initially gets them started with their friendship and gives them a connection um but it's the depression and anxiety thing of it that really forms that unique friendship and Aya, she is very gentle she's very understanding and taking time you know to give gwen the space she needs um and doing all she could just to support her it was really really brilliant when you find people like that when you find someone like that um, you really hold on to them because they're really rare people walk away people get fed up people walk away and I was determined to help Gwen any way she could and as much as I loved Gwen because I could really relate to her thoughts feelings and actions it was really Aya who I was completely in awe of to give Gwen a chance to stay by her side um, supporting her through everything just made her such a special character and like I say, if you have an eye or you find one, you, you don't let them go because they're really important to you as and, and your support system. Um, so I, I genuinely loved everything about this. I would highly recommend it. I think it's an absolutely brilliant book for everyone to read. Um, and I really can't rave about it enough. So um, I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Pining and Loving by Emma Sterner Radley. I really, really think you should. It's a brilliant book. Um, you won't regret it. Um, I, I just I can't recommend it enough it's absolutely brilliant if you've read Pining and Loving by Emma Stoner Radley get in touch come and chat with me we had a chat about it on book club it was absolutely fantastic to talk about it but I think it's one of those books that we should all talk about more and raise awareness of because of its subject matter and um, if you haven't read it but you're planning to read it or it's on your to read list or you're now really really interested in reading it again get in touch because it's always great to hear um, what you're interested in reading and your thoughts and I really really hope if you do pick it up that it helps you in some way and that you just love it because it's an absolutely fantastic book one of my all-time favorites um love it to bits bye